Well, they're a great team. Credit to them. Uh, all credit goes to them. They came up, came up with a great, great game plan. Really limited my post touches with various looks like double teams, triple teams, but I didn't have the ball. It was tough. They had a great game plan. They came up with the execute well. I'll credit to them. It feels like you had that momentum there. You took a six-point lead there midway, a little towards the end of the second half, 11-0 run. Had the opportunity to maybe snuff this one out. What, what changed uh, the momentum there? They came up with the execute. Um, they executed better than us. They played harder than us. Um, so then we got to sit in this offseason. Um, we can just get better from this. I know you're probably asked in the post game room, is this potentially your last game as a Boilermaker? Uh, that's something I haven't given any props to uh, until this moment. Uh, I was only focused on the season, I was only focused on the game, I was only focused on my teammates and coming on the next year. So that's something I'll think about now. I have no idea, I have no answer for you. Zach, what were your emotions like coming off the court after that game? I can watch my Every negative emotion you can think of, anger, sadness, stress, everything. You know, I, I see, uh, we know how hard we work this year. Uh, we know how we broke, we, we exceed expectations all year. Uh, we came in the season unranked, I think, picked to finish fifth or sixth in the Big Ten. People were saying if we make a tournament, it was going to be a good year. Um, so we came out, we exceeded expectations. Uh, couldn't get it done today, but I'm um, just so proud of this team. I'm so proud of everything we've done this year. Um, it's just, I, it sucks that it had to end this way. What did Bates say to you guys in the locker room? He's um, not much to say right now. He's kind of like us, like, kind of speechless. So, I know you were asked this before. No, that's not what you were able to do to hold down your offense, the last, particularly the last 10 minutes. Yeah, they, they had a game plan, definitely. Um, they came out, they had a lot of people, a lot of times they would have two people sitting on me. Um, you know, I have, I have uh, my defender full front of me, they have one dude on me, on me to keep rim. Sometimes I would get my guy on my back and they would just have a guy drop off and come kind of sit in my lap. So it was just two different. Uh, they had a few different looks where they had multiple people on me before they even had the ball, so it made it tough to get the ball and get catches. Um, I have to do a better job with the offensive rebounding. I got that one slip in my hands at the end there. Uh, that was kind of how I was going to come up and attack that game plan. Uh, yeah, it's tough. Did you expect they could be as tough as they turned out to be? I mean, when you look at the films and things like that. Yeah, they look really good against Texas Southern. I kind of knew they were going to be a good team. Uh, no one's in March Madness for quite accident. And every team is in March Madness for a reason. Um, they're, they're a very good team. All credit to them. How do you go about just processing this now? Is it similar to last year, or how much different is this compared to, to what happened last year? Um, it's a little different for me personally because last year I kind of knew what I was going to do. Mm -hmm. um, sure, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I have no idea what I'm going to be back up to do. Uh, I'm going to go through the process, uh, make the decisions that's best for me. Because um, at the end of the day, you never know how long your career is going to be. You never know long, how long anything, anything is going to last. So I kind of have to do what's best for me right now. Um, so that's one thing that really is different about this offseason compared to last. Mm -hmm. Is that the toughest thing for you personally? Is maybe you did play your last game for Purdue, but you don't you don't know that yet, and that. Just getting through all that is is part of what you have to deal with here over the next weeks or or, or months. Yeah, um, it's tough, man. It's, I've never been in a better locker room. I've never been surrounded by better teammates, so that they, they make it super tough on me. Um, you know, if, if, if there was no money involved, I would there'd be I'd stay up for doing a hard time. So. But there is, and I, I got to make a decision for me. Um, but these, these guys are make a ton of that. I love every single thing in this locker room uh, more than I have ever loved anyone uh, in any locker room. Um, so uh, it's tough, man. Because, I mean, we've talked to you about this before this year. I mean, you truly enjoyed this season. Absolutely. I mean, not you know, you won a lot of games. You won the Big Ten, won the Big Ten tournament. But you, you really enjoyed being around this team and this program and doing what you guys accomplished. I mean, how much does that pull on your decision making and your heartstrings to to make that decision. Heavy man, I think I said um, I 
really truly like it's not it's not something I like, I'm just saying like right. I really love everybody in this locker room. And, you know, I want to I want to come back and I want I want to go to war with them, but at the end of the day, like I said, I just got to make the best decision for me because I have no idea how long my career is going to last. I have no idea what's going to happen in my future. Um, but it's, it's tough, man. I, I love these guys. Like, I'm someone who's pretty pretty quiet, pretty shy, um, just in general. And these guys have really taken me in. It, it, it's just great. Like, every, you, you show up every day in practice. And you're just happy. Um, you, you know, you just, like, even when we're not, uh, doing anything basketball related, we'll just come, we'll hang out, whatever. Like, like he's, he's my guy. It's, it's tough. Man. <laughs>